Hello and welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray and I'm glad you're joining me today. I was recently tagged in a video by Little Jordan Farm, which is the Piece of Me Challenge, which is a cooking challenge to show a little piece of you, a little piece of your history through food. Um, and it's supposed to be a comfort food, something that you grew up eating um, that you still like to this day kind of deal. Um, and so since so she tagged me in the video where she did that, um, and the video came from PG Nano Farms. So if you haven't looked, um, either one of those, PG Nano Farms or Little Jordan, um, go check them out on YouTube. They're great little channels. Um, so I thought I would do this challenge as well. So welcome to the Horticulture Geek Kitchen. And tonight we are going to be making, now we're in the south, so we're going to be making salmon patties. Now, if you're up north or somewhere else in the world, maybe you're swankier than me, you may call these salmon croquettes. But uh, down here, we just call them salmon patties. So that's what we're gonna make tonight. So I am going to get right in here. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. Um, and then I'm gonna set the camera back up over here so that I can just cook and you can follow along. So. All right, to make salmon patties, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You're going to need salmon. So I have two cans, um, and I am not sponsoring this company in any way, shape, or form. This is just what was convenient to me in my market. You're gonna need salt. You're gonna need a little hot sauce. You're gonna need pepper. You're gonna need onion powder. You're gonna need flour, cornmeal, eggs, a bowl for mixing, and our secret ingredient, mashed potatoes. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Let me flip this camera around. All right, so you heard me correctly, mashed potatoes. That's our secret ingredient. Um, it just gives them a nice texture. Um, some people will use breadcrumbs. Some people try other stuff. Um, my family, this is the way my mom always made them. We've just found that a little mashed potatoes goes a long way um, just to help those salmon patties or salmon croquettes go to the next level. So let's get started. So here's what I'm going to need first. I'm going to put my salmon in the bowl. Gonna let this one drain a little bit. We don't want too much juice in the salmon patties. Okay. We're gonna take a regular old fork and we're gonna get in here and work this salmon down, break it down. Make sure there's no large chunks, nothing that's going to be too gross. Um, and if you see any odd bits in it, sometimes that happens with these things. You can take that out at this point. All right, I've got that worked down. So now we're going to put in some mashed potatoes. And we're gonna put in one egg. Now I don't measure stuff, so if you're gonna try to repeat this recipe, you're just gonna have to feel the love on it. That's what we say. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle in salt. You don't want too much salt in this cause the mashed potatoes will probably already have salt in it um, and the salmon. So you just wanna, a little bit to your taste level, whatever you like. Here comes our black pepper. I happen to like a lot, so I'm gonna put a lot. I 
our onion powder. This is regular onion powder. Um, I have seen people try to put like fresh chopped onions and stuff like that in their salmon patties. I really don't recommend that just because when you go to fry these things, it's going to be more apt to fall apart on you with the bigger chunks. So we just go with the powder. And our hot sauce, a couple of good dashes of that. And now we're gonna mix it up. Okay, and so we've got now kind of this mixture here, okay? So you can kind of see that there, a little mixture. We're gonna slowly sprinkle in flour and cornmeal equal parts until it comes to together of a consistency of a biscuit um, or something that you can pat out and put in the fryer. So there is no precise measurements on this. You're just gonna have to get it to the consistency that you think it will hold together and go in the grease. So now then, we've got this to the consistency of a batter. So let me bring you in and let you see. All right, so I've got the, a good battery consistency. So let's come over to our grease. All right, so my grease is up to temperature. So I'm just gonna slowly start working in this mixture. It doesn't have to be pretty, guys, okay? All right, so we'll let those three go, and in a few minutes, when they've hardened up, we'll flip them. All right, so you wanna stay with these because we're about ready to flip. It does not take very long. And then you just want to kind of gingerly flip that over. Sorry, it's hard to do this and shoot with the camera. So I'm going to continue flipping these. Um, and once they're done, they're going to go to a resting plate with napkins to let them drain and rest for a minute. And then once I'm done, I'll plate it up and I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. So I'm down to my last two. And so when I get these out of the pan, <clears throat> excuse me, I just let them drain here on the side of the pan for just a second to get all that excess off. And then we're just gonna find them a place to rest on our little plate that we have prepared. So there we have it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plate up this dinner and then I'll show you it all plated up. Hang on just a bit. All right, so here it is all plated up and ready to go. So this is my piece of me challenge. So I've got my salmon patties, I've got my peas, I've got my mashed potatoes, and I've got my beets. So these are all great things, especially if you like for my channel, I'm mostly into gardening. These are all things you can grow for yourself peas, potatoes, beets, um, to make this meal. So I think that's a good tie-in here. Um, and so there's my plate. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little 
cooking challenge, the piece of me challenge. And I really do want to send a big thank you out to PG Nano Farms for starting this challenge. Um, it was really fun. It was a bit out of the norm for me, uh, for my channel thus far. But hey, whatever, you know, works, comes along. I've been thinking about doing some sort of challenge for a while. And then when little Jordan tagged me in her video where she did it, like I said, I thought, perfect time. I'll do this um, and share it with you guys. And hopefully y'all will enjoy it too. So I think we've come to the time in that video because my salmon patties are ready to go where it's time to wrap it up. Um, so like always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to do something um, or get in the kitchen and cook something, maybe something that you grew out of your garden. That would be awesome. Um, but if you liked this video, give it that thumbs up. You know what to do. And also by clicking that bell down there, that'll let you know every time I post a new video here on Horticulture Geek. And don't forget, you can also check us out on our Facebook page by the same name, Horticulture Geek at Facebook. All right, until next time, friends, happy gardening.